everybody, this is today. Welcome back. And I'm going to read you the Jungle Book. So I'm going to read you the Jungle Book. And I'm easy. Okay. Let's just Okay. Let's read it. Deep in the jungle, there the, the panther was was out hunting. Suddenly, he heard a strange kind of sound coming from the river. He followed the sound and discovered a basket. With a tiny boy inside. Why is this man cub? He said. This is sheep meat. Food. Sorry. Food and a mother's care. Mm -hmm. Panther's mother wolf look after him. Mother wolf agreed to help. They named the man cub Mowgli, and he grew up happy, happy, safe, and happy in the jungle. But everything changed when Mowgli was ten years old. There can a man-eating tiger heard about the man cub came searching for him. The wolves agreed that Akberta should take the boy back to the man village. Sorry, I'm so hungry. Eventually, 
then they eventually floated along, along it was very peaceful and Baloo soon fell asleep but but watching them from the distance was in the trees was a group of monkeys who were waiting to kidnap Mowgli. The monkeys sprang into action out of their hiding hiding their hiding place and grabbed the man cub Baloo woke up and jumped but it was too late. The monkeys were already carrying Mowgli up to ruin to the ruined temple where they lived. Quickly luckily there that heard Mowgli's cries and rushed to the river to help. He found Baloo to who explained what happened. We need a rescue plan, Bertha said. At the ruined temple, Louis the Louis, King of Apes, was sitting on the throne waiting for the man cub to arrive. You were here at last, Mowgli cried carried as Mowgli was dropped beside him. Louis offered to help Mowgli stay in the jungle to ruin. He wanted to learn the secret of the red man, the man's red fire. But, be but before Mowgli could explain that that he didn't know the secret. Louis declared that they would have, have a great feast on our honors. On our honors. On, on our, our honor. Okay? Understand that. It spells like this. Okay. Baloo and Bertha reached to the temple and just in time to see Louis leap, leap from his throne, throne and the man cub arrived. Mowgli began Mowgli began to tap the, to the music. He didn't forget the trumbles and, and join and join in the fun. Baloo, whispered Bertha. You distract the monkeys while I rescue Mowgli. Baloo had an idea. He just threw some coconut shells and leaves, leaves to make himself look like a lady ape. Then, then he waved at Mowgli and the king thought the lady ate. Was 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 very beautiful and rushed over to ask her to dance. He, he had no idea that that it was really Baloo in the sky. Where do I start, guys? Where do I oh where is that? Where do I start? Is it here? It starts here. But the loo dance, his disguise began to fall off. The angry monkeys realized he had been tricked and, and started to attack him. Just, just as Bertha rushed over to help, Baloo knocked over the, the, the pair. Oh, word. Rushed over to help. Now Baloo over the pet. Pa power. 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 And the, and the whole temple came crashing down around. The monkeys quickly, Baloo, managed to drag Mowgli away from the King Louis, King Louis, and Bertha led them boldly to safety.
At night, at night, Bertha and Baloo kept watching over Mowgli as he slept. It was my, my time to disguise their young friends in the future. The man cub must go, go, go to the man village, said Bertha. It's not safe for him. It's to stay in the jungle. Hmm? Do you understand that? To the jungle. Baloo, remembering Sher Khan, had to ab admit that Bertha was right. So the next morning, Baloo led Mowgli up towards the man village. It come drooling. <laughs> when the man cub found out they they were headed, he was very angry. You want you don't want me stay your just like Bertha he shouted. But before Baloo could explain Mowgli ran off to the jungle when Bear, when Bertha heard Mowgli and ran, run away, he went to see Kono, Hanty, and the Dawn por Portal. We need your help. We need your help, Bertha told him. The man cub is alone in the jungle. We must find the sheriff cub. At that very moment, there was sheriff stanking near and stopped to listen to Bertha. He licked his lips. The man cub, the man cub is the man cub is lost in the jungle, eh? I think everyone do every I'll do everyone a good needed in find find him first, he said, and off he went to begin his search. Ooh, I'm almost done. It wasn't long before Shara Shara Khan spotted spotted Mowgli in the distance. Remember, emerging from the shadows, the tiger gave a loud roar. He leaped at Mowgli, talking, talking the cub, man cub by surprise. But Shere Khan stopped in mid-leap and crashed to the ground. Baloo had caught him by the tail. Shere Khan with the reins, Baloo behind him, but, but the brave bear was demanded not to let go. Eventually, the furious tiger ma managed to flip Baloo over head. The, the bear hit, hit the ground and majorly crash. This is the most weirdest part that is like that. Why is it like that? The weirdest part. The weirdest part is like that. Why is there doing the face like that? Why are you doing the face like that? Please, if you're watching this, tell me. Molly ran over to Baloo who was lying very still on the ground. Please get help, Baloo, he cried. Bear 
Bertha came over to comfort Mowgli. Baloo was very brave. The panther said, "What?" Gobbled Mowgli. You mean Baloo's dead? Before, but before Bertha had the, a chance to reply, Baloo sat up and rubbed his rubbed his eyes. He wasn't. He wasn't dead after all. <laughs> Mowgli laughed and threw his arms around the big bear's neck. Suddenly, a lightning bolt struck in a nearby tree, which burst into flames. Sharkan. Sh okay. Sherkan was terrified. Fire was only the thing that fi frightened him. Seeing his chance to get back the tiger, Mowgli picked up the burning branch and man cub tied the burning branch to the tiger's tail. Sherkan screamed, scrammed, and he crawled, clawed the branch away and fell into the jungle, never to be seen again. The, tree, the three friends carried on towards the man village. Suddenly, they heard someone singing across the river. They're almost there. Mo Mowgli peered through the trees and saw a young girl kneeling by the river. Isn't she pretty? cried Mowgli. Climbing on uh, climbing a tree had to have a closer look. The girl turned and smiled and Mowgli shyly smiled back. When she began to walk toward the man village, Mowgli ran to join her. Okay. Baloo and Bertha felt very sad that their young friend was leaving, but they knew he he would go now be be ha go now be happy and say it's where the he belongs side Side me, Bertha. Baloo, Baloo, come on, Baloo, let's get back to where we belong. And so the two friends headed back towards the jungle, singingly, singing, happily, singing and dancing happily. The end. There's no more pages. See? Even when I. I'm going to break the book. So, bye everybody. So, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Well, so, take care and share. Goodbye.